Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 8 of the Minecraft 1.15 survival let's play. I'm super stoked to be doing another episode. So a lot has happened since the last episode, a uh, few things around this world. So the last episode we started to create this awesome looking ravine village. And I think it looks pretty good so far. And I did a little bit of off-camera work, decorated it a bit. I'll show that off in a second. But I also did some stuff yesterday on stream. The stream is still up if you want to check it out. But I'll show off that really fast too. We actually, I took this villager house that was here. And I kind of remodeled it, tried to make it look a little better. I did a little bit of decorative work. I might do a little bit more. And then we also did a few other things. Uh, we did a lot of mining and a lot of that good stuff. And I also made another house so it was inspired by the same design of this house but i literally just made it twice as long <laughs> so two villagers could fit inside so that's what we did did a ton of mining a ton of xp mining all that good stuff um but yeah today's episode i also have a lot planned but before we do that i have another member here for our big book filled with awesome people and the fifth person i'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because there's no vowels, but <laughs> there we go. And pretty much he said you should call the town, at least the ravine part, the sunken village as reference towards the ravine part. And then edit, I see you used my time lapse idea. Nice. And that's because in the last episode, I used a time lapse and a few people suggested it. He was one of the people that suggested it. And I think it turned out pretty well. I might do some more time lapse build things. I think it was pretty fun. But yeah, also I want to show off a little bit of this ravine. So we actually have some life in this ravine now. What happened was I pushed, pushed some sheep down here and I've started to breed them. As you can see, we still have the baby one. Uh, I built an iron golem. I put a bunch of grass here and then I also pushed two villagers down here. There was a third, but I think he died. I'm not sure what happened, but we have a little house for them. And then I plan on adding more houses soon. But here's the work we've done. I also replaced some of the ugly diorite and dirt that was here with stone. But we have something crucial that I need to do in this world. So for the past few episodes, I've just been getting more and more chests randomly placed around my world. Because I don't have storage space. I have those chests. I have chests over there. I have stuff in that village house chest. I have stuff in that chest stuff in a chest in that house and so <laughs> i am just totally out of storage room and also my first house is filled with chests and they're all full so i really need to make a storage room and i was trying to think of where i could build a storage room i didn't know if i should make it above ground or underground or what i should do but i think i have an idea what i want to do is kind of do more of a hidden storage room not that it really matters to hide stuff since it's a survival world but you know it's still fun. So I think what I'm going to do is create a secret entrance attempting to use redstone in this side of the hill. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. I might have to leave the secret entrance for another time because I'll need sticky pistons and I don't have slime balls. Um, but regardless, I think I'm going to do something here. Maybe for now I'll just make a normal entrance that's not hidden. Um, and then I'll probably make like a little pathway that leads underground and make a pretty big storage area because i know i'm gonna need a lot of room so let's get started on that all right so i quickly went to get some oak logs and some spruce logs just because i've used a lot of wood lately doing all these builds and so i needed to gather a little bit more but now that i've done that let's head into the area where i will make this so let me try to get a gauge for how big this mountain is and how how far i need to deep down because it could be really tall it could be really short i'm not entirely sure Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's a decent size because I want to make this underground and like I said, I'll put some sort of secret entrance system in the future once I get some more redstone materials, but okay. Yeah, we have plenty of room for this. All right, so what I'm going to do is dig, let's do like a few blocks in here just so I have room for the future when I want to make a door. And then also let's go grab a few torches quickly because I want to ooh, hopefully light up this area and dig out just a big pit at first so do i have torches maybe do i have any coal oh i do oh nope i don't have coal well hold on i know i have torches somewhere i might have torches in one of these chests i just need torches because pretty much what i'm gonna do is make just a giant underground box 
and then from there <laughs> literally just decorate it and make it into a storage room so all right let's head over here and then let's do one more block and then dig down i know people are going to hate on me for digging straight down don't worry almost every time i dig straight down i'm more than safe i'm not too scared <laughs> all right so let's go down how far should i, I don't want to go too far down but i definitely want to go a decent ways i think I think that's good okay so we're on level 44 let me dig out a quick box around me just to get a kind of feel for what's going on and i don't hear any cave sounds so i don't think there's any caves nearby which is good for us because i don't want to be hearing zombies the entire time i'm in my chest room so what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm gonna just make what's a good dimension like 15 by 15 something i don't know i'm just gonna make a giant box <laughs> dig out a whole area until my pickaxe is begging for mercy uh and then from there i'll see where we can go all right so i dug out a pretty large area here i actually went through my diamond pickaxe and i unfortunately couldn't repair it because i was out of diamonds but nevertheless here we go i did a little change with this i wanted to just move this whole area over um and then i also have you know the main area here and so what i want to do from here is start to actually build the storage area and so i want to go to these logs that i have and i think i want to go with oak logs and what i want to do is kind of have like these giant pillars of oak logs i'm just trying to think of what i am thinking in my head um kind of streaming across off of this but what i have to do before that is i have to fill in the floor i have to fill in the ceiling and the walls and i'll do that really fast and what i'll do for that is i'll just use spruce logs so i'm gonna go up there i'll have to actually i'll have to make some ladders to head up there so let me do that really fast and then i'll gather pretty much all the spruce wood i can find in my village which should actually be a pretty decent amount and hopefully that'll be enough to fill in this whole area if not i can just continue cutting down some more trees so let's go do that really fast well i just came out of this hole and it looks like we have a, <laughs> a friend here that came to uh let's see if he has anything uh nope well it looks like it's time for you to go i'm sorry mister i want your leads and your llamas aren't here to stay <laughs> i know they're worrying it's okay it's okay chill i won't kill you oh they're actually oh i was gonna say they aren't attacking you but looks like they are <laughs> all right anyways i just wanted to take their leads and i hate wandering traders but yeah those llamas they can just chill i'm not gonna bug them i'll just let them do their thing all right well i actually had a lot more spruce wood than i thought this is pretty much everything i have so i'm just gonna start turning all these logs into planks well actually i shouldn't do all of them because i think i'll definitely have enough wood to fill in this whole area so i'm gonna fill this in and then we can put a bunch of pillars and decorate to make it look all fancy and all that good stuff all right so here we are in our giant spruce box and actually i ended up having a little bit of spruce wood to spare which is good because i need a lot of wood for decorating this thing and also to make chests so what i'm gonna do now is take the oak logs and start making the pillars that i'm thinking about i'm not exactly sure how i'll do this but what i want to do is um let's go so I'll kind of I'll kind of make one and I'll see if this works. So let me make a few chests really fast. Let's just make a lot of logs. Doo -doo -doo, a stack should be good and then make some chests. So what I'm what I'm thinking about is having like a pillar here going up to the top and then another one right here. And then what I'll have here is so chests will be well they'll be connected but they'll be like this if you're picking up one and putting down and then the pillar will go to the top like that and then here let me let me just make enough to finish the whole thing because i want to see how it'll look once it's completed so we have that and then also let's make let's make some spruce stairs maybe and grab some of our spruce slabs so what i want to do is chests blah 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 and like I said, I'll connect these chests so they're, you know, how they're supposed to be. But we'll have that. We'll have... Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> There's not enough room for this. All right. Here, let's sneak out of here really fast. So anyways, we'll have the chests like that. And then I think I'll probably have, like, lanterns or torches from the ceiling. If I do, like, a stair... I kind of... Eh, I don't know if I like that. What if I did, like... How could I make it look a little more round? I don't know. I wanted to make it look a little more round, and then I wanted pretty much the whole chest room to look like that. So let me experiment with some designs really fast, and I'll be back once I've figured out something I like. 
All right, so I decided on something pretty simple. I just kept the same design, and then all I did was add spruce trap doors because I was trying to give it more of a rounded look, and I don't think the stairs really did it for me. So what I'm going to do is pretty much copy this exact design along this entire wall, and then, then this entire wall. Hopefully, I'll have enough wood to do it. I might need to gather a little bit more, especially to make all the chests. But nevertheless, I'll see how it goes. All right, so I've done a lot of work. Let me show off what's been done so far. It's actually been <laughs> kind of hectic. I had to get a lot of trees for all the chests. I kind of underestimated how much wood I would need. I actually ended up going through like two iron axes. So anyways, here's what we have. I think it looks really good so far. Actually, oops. I don't know why there's a slab there. Um, <laughs> I think it looks really good. I'm really excited for it. Um, it was such a pain placing the chests, though, because the top row of chests... Um, oh, I can't even access that. Wow, I didn't know I could... Well, that's not very functional. I guess the top row is just for decoration, but I had to actually break up and then get down. Anyways, <laughs> it's been a long time, for me at least, not for you guys. So here we have this, and then I want to add some more decoration in here. So first off... Well, I guess not really first, but something we need to do is get rid of all these torches, because these look horrible. Um, but what I also need to do is, what we need to do is, I want to add a few more pillars to add a kind of stable look to this. So let's add, how about one right here, and then just on the back wall? I think that'll look fine. Here, let's place down a few of the torches just for now. I like it to be well lit when I'm building. So if I put a pillar here, because I don't want to do an each time there's an oak log i think that'll look a little weird but if i do this if we just continue the design i think it'll help this look a little more filled in because i think this whole area just looks a little undone like this is a really big open room and so i don't want to leave too much open space here i want to make sure it's well decorated and i think what i'll do is with this back wall is i'll kind of use this back wall as like a place for furnaces blast furnaces anvils stuff like that maybe i could even put an enchanting like my enchanting room could be right there or something i don't know just throwing out ideas and then with this pillar let's just do the whole thing where we put the stairs all the way around upside down and then use the trap doors and then how about we connect the top with slabs like i did there i like that All right, so we have this. Let's see how this looks so far. I think this looks pretty good. I'm proud of this. I think this looks great. Um, and then we have that random chest filled with all my crap. So I'm trying to think, though. If I added lanterns, how could I add them in here to make them look good? Where could I put them? I could... Hmm. What I could do is if I put fences hanging from the ceiling, would that look weird? Where'd my crafting table go? I don't know. I had a crafting table. I'm not sure what I did with it. <laughs> I must have just put it somewhere when I was moving all my wood. Or, I don't know. But here, let's make some planks. It's all that good stuff. Make some sticks. Actually, let's do it out of this. So if I make some spruce fences and then hang some lanterns from there, where could I put it? I'm just trying to think. If I use fences, it might look good. Just kind of hanging down. Like I could do the corners there. Like that. Would that look good? Oh, it doesn't even... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So if I did that, where else could I put them? Because just the corners is not enough light. I could just... You know what? Here, let's actually... Let's test how many lanterns we need. Let me go... Let's go make some lanterns really fast. And then with that, I can test kind of to see how much the lanterns light up the surrounding area. Because I'm not sure. I might only need a few lanterns or I might need a lot. It's a pretty big room, so it'll probably need a lot of lighting. Uh, here's some, oh, here's a lantern already. Um, let's take the sticks in case I need to make some more. I should have iron somewhere. Maybe it's in one of these chests. I'm not sure. Literally, <laughs> this is why I need the storage room, though. All my stuff is just scattered everywhere. Okay, there's a little bit of iron. Uh, that might actually be all the iron I have right now. Okay, I might need to do some more smelting of the iron. But let's make a few lanterns right here and see how it'll be. So if I do this... Let's craft a few. I can't craft a lot, but hey, we got three. That's a decent amount. So we have four. That's enough for each of the corners. So I'll see how that much that lights it up. That might actually be enough light. Maybe it's a stretch. Or maybe I could use torches and lanterns, but I feel like using multiple different light sources can kind of get, you know, it looks a little messy after a while. But I don't know. Let's see how it looks. So let's get rid of all these torches. And then we have a lantern there there yeah i'm definitely gonna need more than just four 
I mean, this will light it up a decent amount, but definitely not enough. I mean, well, I mean, it's okay. It's slightly lit. What might be better, though, is if... Can I just place torches on the middle of each of these pillars and say it's like a stylistic choice? <laughs> I don't know. Let me look. Let me look how that looks. Maybe that'll help our lighting situation. Well, it looks a little weird, but for now I think it's the correct solution until I get some more lanterns. But I think if I get more lanterns in the future, I'll put them probably. I don't know. There's these. This room isn't even. I mean, it is even, but huh? How could I do this? I guess I could place lanterns on the side of this pillar too, and then that might be enough. It'll still be a little dark right around here. I don't know, I'll mess around with some stuff, but I think that looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is let's do something with this little back wall. I actually, I should probably know this, but I don't know the recipes for the new furnaces. So I know there's the normal furnace, but how do I make the smoker and black blast furnace? So smoker is strip logs, okay. And then the blast furnace. Oh, I actually don't know it. I'll have to look up the recipe. But I want to use smokers and blast furnace. Um, so I'll make some of those and we can put them in there and kind of make them look better. All right, so I crafted a few items that I think would be useful for the storage room. I actually realized I I've never actually needed to craft one before. But for blast furnaces, you actually need the stone slabs. The new one with the like stone cutter and all that fancy stuff. So anyways, I made some blast furnaces, smokers furnaces and also I just grabbed some barrels and I don't know just random stuff I had so I think what should I do let's start with the left side how should I do this I want to do something with the blast furnaces smokers furnaces but how could I make it look good okay I have an idea let me let's mine out this wall a little bit I think I'm gonna push it one block back because I have an idea for what I want to do I think I'll put the crafting table actually yeah let's do the whole thing I think I'll put the crafting table in the middle a barrel or a chest probably barrels on each side because I already have enough chests in here <laughs> just for more of a decorative thing and then on top of it I can put blast furnaces and smokers and I think that'll look good so let me test that out really fast I'm not entirely sure how that'll look but I'll see oh the top there isn't filled in well let's use some slabs to fill it in <laughs> uh, so let's have that boom boom do that oh okay <laughs> that was lightning i don't know what oh my gosh it scared me it was so loud uh let's do it like that and then i think let's have slabs sure that looks fine and then let's just do like blast furnaces like that i don't know Uh, actually, let's orientate it the other direction. I don't know. I just want one of each. I know when you have blast furnaces and smokers, you don't really need furnaces. I just kind of grabbed the furnaces I had, and I was like, hey, let's do something with them. If I do it like this, though, just... Oh, my gosh, there's a lot of lightning. I'll have to be careful. I don't know what all that is. Uh, all right, that looks good. I mean, that's, that's kind of fine. I know you can't really access... Oh, you can't access the side furnaces. Why can I access that furnace, but I can't access that chest? That's weird, I don't know. And then for this side, should I just do the same thing? Uh, oh, I don't have enough, actually. Well, for this side, I'll leave it. Maybe I'll put my enchanting table there. I don't know, I'll mess around with something. But anyways, yeah, that's about it for this. What I'm gonna do probably off camera is kill some cows so I can get some item frames for this and I'll also figure out some placements for the lanterns. Oh my gosh, why is there so much lightning? I gotta check this out, we gotta see what's going on. This is a lot of lightning. Okay. Well, thankfully, it's raining, so if anything caught on fire from the lightning, I don't think it'll burn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't had any weather really happen in this world at all, but... Alright, anyways, let's go sleep, because I think you can sleep to skip thunderstorms, right? Yeah. So let's go do that really fast. Whew. <laughs> that scared me. But yeah, anyways... That chest room, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. That chest room took me a long time to make. I had to do a lot of wood chopping, but hopefully I can cut it down enough so it was pretty short for you guys. I don't know actually how long this episode is going to be. It might be pretty short. It might be pretty long. But yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. Hopefully you can get some inspiration for your world from this build. Maybe you can use it yourself. Maybe you can just take little bits and pieces. I'll also fill in this little area soon. I don't know what. 
I was thinking there. But, <laughs> yeah, this is the chest room. I think it looks really good so far. Um, like I said, I'll start killing cows for some item frames. Uh, and then I'll also start actually organizing these chests so I can get all the chests surrounding my village out of here. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that goodness. I really appreciate the crazy, crazy support on this series. The series has seriously been getting so much love. So many new people are coming to the channel. All that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.